There is a saying that safety and character can be built only by daily routine. And that's what Glowchem thrives upon. A routine that reflects care and character by following the guidelines at work, which are all about being safe. That's why safety is the cheapest insurance policy, which means precaution is better than cure. So let's just take a quick sneak peek or a glimpse to see what all we need to do at work, shall we? Dear folks, let's start from the very beginning. From the time you get down from the bus, then checked by the security guard. Let's cooperate with the security guard, even though he's your friend who sees you every day. Make sure that you do not carry cell phones, good car, pan or cigarettes, and even your personal lunch kit. Please deposit these at the security. So, after this, we move on to recording your presence at work. Make sure you punch your card. Wear your basic personal protective equipment. Apron. Ensure that your apron is clean before wearing it. Mask, glasses and hard hat after taking them out from the respective lockers. And make sure you are locking it back. So let's start our work with some excitement. Wait, though this may sound very basic, but the following checks are very important. Before you proceed into the intermediate area, please check the functionality of an air curtain. Ensure the insecticutors are clean and in working condition. And if not, clean and replace pads. Please make sure that you close the door behind you while you proceed into the intermediate area. So people, let's get on to our jobs. Okay, it's time now to get to know what happened in the previous shift and also check whether all the procedures have been followed. This involves exchanging BMRs to mark the shift change, explaining the status of each operation while simultaneously checking all the information accurateness, updating equipment status. Please check the status of the ventilation and air handling units. Now, let us start a batch and make some product. Before we start any batch, we need to perform some basic checks. Check whether all of the raw materials required have been delivered or not. Ensure that all raw materials have the approved labels and make sure that all containers are clean and place them on the pallets. Now, check the calibration and maintenance status of the reactor and of all digital and analog measuring devices like for temperature indicator, pressure gauges by checking their status labels. Check the cleanliness of the reactor by visually observing and also by checking the status board and the equipment logbook. Make sure that the status is ready to use and also for the same product. Now you are ready to charge the batch. But wait! You also need to ensure that the reactor and other equipment beside the reactor you are about to use are closed to ensure that there is no chance for any cross-contamination. Now we are ready to charge the batch. Open nitrogen purge. Make sure a suitable mask is on. Wear gloves before using the scoop and check the label on the scoop. Then charge the material. After batch charge is done, Record the details on BMR. You have successfully charged a batch. Now move to the next reactor and then record the information such as temperature and other operations in the BMR. Update the equipment usage log. Do this for all reactors and keep all the BMRs up to date always. Let us now proceed to the centrifugation floor to isolate the product. Before you begin the centrifugation operation, do not forget to perform all the same checks that you did at the reactor. Check the calibration and maintenance status of the equipment and ensure that it is current and valid. Ensure the cleanliness of the centrifuge and the status of the same equipment. Make sure it is for the same product and is in ready-to-use status. Additionally, 
check the labels on the hoses and other tool and ensure that they are dedicated for the same product being manufactured and is used for only one product. Also, check the status of centrifuge bags by checking the status label. Make sure there are no tears, rips and that they aren't unclean. Then, you need to check if the nitrogen line and scrubbers are open. After centrifugation, you unload the wet cake into fresh polythene bags using a dedicated scoop. Once unloaded, wrapped and packed, now place the status label with all the information filled before moving to the dry area. Now the material is moved to the drying area. That was so easy to follow. You next move into the drying area. To start with, you wear a shoe cover over your shoes so as to not carry the dust into the clean room. Check the status of the magnahelic gauge and ensure that the differential pressure is within limits. Now we enter the change room. Here, you need to remove the street apron and helmet. Clean your hands by using the sanitizer. Then go for a makeover by wearing apron, headgear, mask and gloves. Make sure that the headgear covers the ears. Make sure the gloves cover the apron sleeves. And when are done with this process, you can now enter into the drying area. Pick up the same container which has come into the drying area and check its weight and record it. Once done, send it to the drying room. And before you start the drying, perform the same checks that you made at the reactor and the centrifuge. Check the calibration status labels of the equipment and make sure that the status is ready to use and that the dryer is previously used for the same product and also ensure that the trays are clean. Before using the scoop, always remember to check for the scoop label and then load the material on the trays. You can then close the dryer and start the drying operation. Record the time and temperature of the dryer in the BMR in frequent intervals. Once the drying operation is done, you can unload the material with scoop into a clean bag and place it in a carboy and send it for weighing. The bags are now weighed and the measured weight is recorded onto the labels and the BMR. After weighing, paste the sampled label onto the container and send the product for its analysis to the quality control lab. The QC lab will conduct complete analysis of the product you made and once found satisfactory in all specifications, will release the batch by providing and pasting the approved label or green label onto the carboys. Once approved, you can load it onto the trolley and push it to the warehouse. So simple. Now the same activity will continue round the clock but your job is over and you must be tired and ready to go home. Before you do that, we have a last few things we must do. You ensure that handing over of the documentation and status is done to the incoming shift and make sure incoming shifts are aware of any deviations. Now you are ready to leave. Now go to the change room, put glasses, hard hat, mask and apron into the locker. Also, put the unclaimed ones at the wash bin which is at the cleaning room. Punch out to make sure it is recorded that you are officially done for the day. And then take your belongings and get onto the bus. Remember folks, at the end of the day, two of your primary goals at work are the most simpler ones. Those are safety and security. Safety is not a job, it's a responsibility. Let's all commit together towards the responsibility of being safe and secure. Thank you and see you around.